Dobro večer, krenuli smo na veliku traversadu od Mljeta do Kaorle. Prošli smo hvar. Evo nas u Splitu, cvit Mediterana. Došli smo po ovo. Splav za spašavanje. Bez tega nema offshore utrkivanja. Moramo se zahvaliti ponovo mojem dragom prijatelju Emilu Tomaševiću i njegovom timu da su mi omogućili da imam servisiranu splav. 7.15 postavili smo split iza nas. Prognoza je čisti rock and roll. Sve mi se čini da ćemo otići u Lošinji pričeka da prođe glavni dio predstave. Evo negdje sam vidio na nekim gribovima da bi moglo biti prek 60 čvorova vjetra. Ali čim vidite ovakvu zastavicu, znači oluja. I to je točno u kvarneru. Noćas. da smo negdje na moru i da to ne možemo izbjeći onda čovjek mora stisnuti zube ali ovak treba čuvat brod i samog sebe i ako ima mogućnost bolje je to zaobići niko se ne, ne treba junačiti na 60 čvorova ja što ne volim i eto nas u lošinju Domu našeg prijatelja Vekija Kabalina. Na ovakvim trenutcima je bolje biti vezan nego na moru. u 11.40 puše bura u kanalu bi je trebalo biti između 20 i 30 Petre! Evo lijepo, še burica oko 20 čvorova. Evo nas upuli smo 
od sad počinje offshore mix duo. Do sad je bilo single handed, sad je double. I evo nas u puli. Uglavnom, idemo pojest jednu finu večeru od petrinih roditelja i onda idemo dalje za kao žaj. First, let's take a look at the full track of the race. Our competitors are green and red color, and we are yellow. Our track is considerably longer than the one of our competitors. Let's see why. After starting, our first leg took us 20 miles downwind to the first mark. According to the forecast, wind was shifting to the right, so we chose a more direct line than our competitors and were thus able to profit from the shift. After turning the first mark, we sailed upwind in 5 to 10 knots of wind. According to weather routing, we chose to tack and stay further away from the land. This is because weather forecast promised more wind offshore. This is the real situation. Wind shifted and was stronger closer to the shore, so our competitors were faster. After turning the final mark, we based our strategy again on the weather forecast, which predicted land breeze during the night, turning to northeasterly in the morning. So we followed the route closer to land in order to find ourselves in favorable position once the northerly starts blowing. At the same time, our two competitors chose a direct line towards the finish and stayed offshore in the same, although somewhat weaker breeze. This is the position of boats in the morning, as the land breeze dies out. According to weather forecast, we are expecting wind from the north, but instead we get the wind from the south. Our angle is still strong, but not as strong as it would be if the wind came from the north. Wind from the north comes during the last few miles of the race, but too late to change anything. Bye bye Kaorle. A sada 300 milja nazad doma. Juhu! Evo nas u Trčanskom zaljevu, drage dame i gospodo. Na transferu prema doma. Petra ima samo 60 milja do doma ali živi zato u puli i stalno pada kiša ali ja imam 300 milja doduše to je malo ovaj nedostatak ali barem kod mene nikad ne pada kiša i cijelo vrijeme sija stunce Novi član posade u projektu Insomnija Sven Šoje. Bok. Dobar. Odlično. Da malo još malo više spavar, bilo bi još bolje. Ali zato si ti tu. 
Evo ga. Vrlo specijalna pošitka pelena. Tako da ćemo evo sad prvi put na ovom brodu, ili na bilo kojem moj brodu, kod manevara stekat pelene. Krenuli iz Pule u 10 sati. Očekuje nas jedna dugačka nizbrdica prema jugu Jadrana, što je jako dobro došlo. To se zove Jadranska maestrala. Za sada transfer kakav se poželjeti može. Yes, oh. 